Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to talk about a full machine learning roadmap as many of you Rika, just asked me over the DMs on LinkedIn about uh, can you make a roadmap on machine learning. So here it is, I will spend around one day uh, making this roadmap a fully structured roadmap for you to learn each and every concept in detail. Okay, so uh, I have divided this road roadmap into four things. First is obviously prerequisites. The second is fundamentals, intermediate and advanced. Okay, so uh, let's uh, talk about prerequisites, what we have to cover in prerequisites. And also, if you're looking for uh, where you can learn all those things, you can have a look at my YouTube channel, the same as the FS FSMLC code uh, which is a full stack machine learning course on new era uh, there you can find the whole things but still I'm putting more tutorials on prerequisites mathematics statistics and probability soon okay and if you want live lectures there is CSO one which has been launched and you can see the I think the recent in recent video CSO one has been launched okay so uh, first of all in prerequisites you should cover programming languages means what i what i'm saying over here programming languages like python r or julia why well, i'm taking the name of julia because i've written a comment i think julia will be the upcoming big competitor of python the reason why it's very very efficient and i think so julia can be big competitor of python so you can learn and any programming language as you want like python or r or julia okay as per your need and become at least proficient into that so so you can so you are able to write code into python or r or julia either i, I will not recommend to use any kind of java or c c plus plus either c plus plus is used in artificial intelligence but i will not recommend uh, java because many of you may ask java is also used in machine learning but it's kind of a very uh, i don't like the uh, it's a very very un I could say unmeaningless code I have seen there so I don't I don't recommend Java for machine learning okay so here we and then after learning programming languages now you can go to some libraries and in some libraries what do I recommend I'm taking Python that you have learned Python so you will go to learning some uh, good uh, libraries the reason why I'm saying good libraries is you cannot do yeah you can do kind of a com computation or work with data using python but it's better to have a library that will make your life more easier means uh, we have pandas then we have a PySpark, numpy matplotlib sql for working with the data for scientific computation and etc okay so learn this library also because it's very very important to have in your toolkit and anyone can uh uh, and everyone who is a data, uh, data science enthusiast or machine learning enthusiast should learn about these libraries, okay? So why I written Dask or PySpark? Because it's commonly you can see, it's, it's, it can be seen that Panda is okay for medium or small size data, but if a large amount of data means be millions or billions, then PySpark or Dask should work well, okay? And SQL, as always, SQL is very important okay but many of the on youtube are not telling sql the reason why i don't know but i think sql is important okay then after learning libraries you should see for mathematics because i don't think that uh, machine learning can be done without mathematics if you don't like mathematics then don't go in machine learning okay it will uh, just go in other field do not come in machine learning because machine learning is equal equals to mathematics but some of you may uh, some of experience one may disagree with this point but i think um, if you want to get into advanced machine learning then you should learn about these uh, concepts like uh, mathematics because then mainly if you want to work in some mnc's or unicorn companies so you should know about uh, deep mathematics behind any algorithm okay so in mathematics, we'll be having a short prerequisite. This is not too long to understand, but it's very short. So you should answer, you should have a very good uh, command over your linear algebra skills, like systems of equations, linear combination spans, matrices and vectors, and what are the 
uh, operations with matrices and vector then we have identity inverse and transpose then we have orthogonality then we have determinant and then we have a singular value decomposition eisenvectors and eisenvalues okay because they are I, whatever I have seen in uh, machine learning algorithms whatever is in, in, in my journey these are the most used linear algebra concepts uh, which are used in machine learning like eigenvectors and principal common analysis orthogonality concept and support vector machine then we have a linear transformation again in PCA and there are a lot more and here we have identity inverse it was used in linear regression means uh, transpose are used in linear regression hypothesis so there are a lot more to think and dot inner product are also used so these are the most uh, a frequently used uh, linear algebra concept so you should learn about this okay then if you want to uh, again I'm saying if you want to learn more means uh, all of these you can uh, register for CSO one if you uh, can't afford that kind of money you can simply apply for scholarship either you can simply uh, if you're working professional you can go with uh, CSO one okay then after covering lane linear algebra you should come to probability okay in probability there is not too much the term which i have seen in so far uh, mainly in deep learning also we have a joint probability conditional probability Bayes theorem then we have empirical probability theoretical probability gaussian distribution and then we have a chain rule of probability and something more so these are the most uh, i could say I frequently use terms or concepts in machine learning okay so better to have a good command over this and all of this uh, there are a lot of YouTube tutorials which are available maybe in Khan Academy or maybe in some other tutorials you can head over to that and understand these kind of concepts in very easy way okay after you don't need to master probability but you need to have a good understanding of this okay uh, means because it's very very uh, good to have understanding of uh, mathematics behind each and every algorithm after covering linear algebra then we have all of this now you should go to statistics in statistics what do I mean here you have a descriptive statistics okay so in descriptive statistics you should know about qualitative and quantitative variables just one line of uh, definition then we have a degree and continuous variables it's just only one 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 line of definition population and sample measures of center like mean median mode mid-range and all of these you could know in class six and seventh of your school and then we have a measures of variability a range variance standard deviation and then you have a measures of position that we have percentile z score quartiles because if you can see over here that measures of centers are used in everything measures of variable of variability are used in every each and every machine learning algorithm and measures of positions are also used for finding outliers in machine learning algorithms using machine learning algorithms okay so these are very very important and by descriptive statistics are also important like a scatter plots or core and correlation box plots okay so if you learn all those things you will be having a good command whatever you will see in the future of your machine learning by learning algorithms you will be able to understand or grasp the concept okay but again saying machine learning is equal equals to mathematics so if you think that you can do machine learning without mathematics then uh, I would not recommend to waste your uh, time into this okay go to other uh, field like web development or Android okay so after learning prerequisites now I'm going to close this prerequisites so after you are done with prerequisites like linear programming languages libraries statistics and probability and you don't need I, I personally think for machine learning you don't need uh, calculus either you need calculus like uh, basic calculus like partial derivatives then we have uh, integration differentiations but uh, if you want to get in research level you should learn about this okay so we're soon putting up uh, uh, the, the how much calculus you need because I'm still learning calculus so uh, I'll, I'll be better if I learn better and try to see what calculus is being used and what intake because I, whatever I, I have worked in deep learning for more than one years and yeah calculus is being used and mainly when deriving the cost functions when going doing the back foot propagation so I think so uh, calculus is being used so it's better for machine learning you don't need calculus okay okay so after uh, 
covering the prerequisites now it's time for getting into the fundamentals of machine learning just do not skip this part okay the reason why i'm saying fundamentals of fundamentals of anything is very important the reason why you you strong your base and whatever you, you if you strong your base because prerequisites are also based then fundamentals of machine learning are also based so there are these are bases and you should strong it out okay so here first of all you should start with uh, basics of machine learning what like what is machine learning what are the types of machine learning and what are their types okay what is the workflow of basic machine learning problem what is the uh, what is MLOOP best practices what is the main challenges set that, that you will found in machine learning well overfitting underfitting then you have a many terms of like regularization then after that you can go to linear regression and in lane linear regression you should cover these things and like hypothesis normal cost function or gradient and assumptions and assumptions are quite important as per the uh, inter inter interview based questions okay regularized li linear models in regularized li linear models you will be having three um, like l1 l2 regularization and then we have an elastic net which is the combination of ridge and lasso okay and la let's you then you can go to after logistic regression do the same as you have done in li linear as logistic regression linear basic machine learning are already on my youtube channel if you go to https new era if you go to https new era let me show you if you go to here then you will find out something else like if you go to playlist let me go to playlist and then if you go to fsmlc then you will find the fundamentals of machine learning is covered here then you have lean linear regression then we have a programming assignment that you to do then we have a polynomial and ridge regression then we have a logistic regression then we have some project and then support with the machine okay then here after logistic you should learn about support vector machine and every every topic is written over here and each and every topic is being taught over here in mastering support vector machine in detail okay then you should go with night base because very basic and very powerful algorithm and it's very very important to learn in the fundamentals to strengthen your skills in fundamentals okay after doing the fundamentals you should go to intermediate because now you are comfortable with basics and prerequisites okay after then then you should learn about pca okay and then you should learn about learning theory like bias and variance trade-off, precision recall trade-off, approx estimation error, ERM, empirical risk minimization error, with inductive bias also. Okay, so these these are the most uh, learning theory is little bit advanced as usual taught to PhD students, but it's better to have in your toolkit for in terms of interview discussion or you want to get into research in machine learning. Okay, then if you want to get into optimization algorithms, optimization algorithm is batch gradient descent, or stochastic gradient descent, or mini batch gradient descent, and then in evaluation matrix you have regression, then you have a classification. Okay, so you should learn about this optimization and evaluation matrix are you will be all already getting into the fundamentals of machine learning well when you will be learning any algorithm, but in evaluation of matrix uh, you will learn new concepts like precision or recall r2 score confusion matrix okay but mae msu will be already learned to lay in your regression or logistic regression okay after that you should go with decision trees and then you should go with uh learn about everything in decision tree and in sample learning and random forest okay and in sample learning you should know about bagging stacking averaging based models run random forest and then in boosting you should know about adapt boost gradient boosting extreme boost and there are uh, these things that you should cover to become an intermediate in machine learning okay so if you want to learn more advanced machine learning you should go with uh, now we are we are done with intermediate now let's go to advanced so what topic should be covered in advanced so in advanced you should cover as much as the unsupervised learning algorithm which you can cover okay like k-means tv scan optics and we have a hierarchical clustering and then we have a very different different algorithm okay and anomaly detection you will be having local outlier factor isolation forest okay and then you should go with 
after learning unsupervised learning, you should go with neural networks. Okay, doing the learning about neural networks, what they are, then forward, backward, then convolution neural networks, and then we are in. Have the basics of these all neural networks. Have the basic understanding of neural networks. Don't go with um, deep dive if you, if you don't want to learn deep learning at that point. But if you want to specifically for deep learning, please feel free to ping me up in the comment box below. I'll be definitely putting a, this the same PDF, but there will be calculus involved. So uh, the, the I'll be putting a different roadmap for a deep learning because deep learning is never ending topic. Okay, every, even machine learning is never ending topic. Every every research paper is coming in just for introducing any algorithm so it's better to uh, have a good understanding of little bit of this and have a you can also develop your own algorithm if you cover because you have to go in math if you do not if you if you're thinking that you can do machine learning with without math then you I think you ha I have to disappoint you saying that like this you are wasting your time the reason why I think so uh, machine learning is all about mathematics that you see okay mathematics is like beauty or I could say something called the beauty and it can all uh, you can also just visualize mathematics and see that like three blue one brown I'm coming with the same uh, as the uh, Grant Sanderson has done I'm coming with the same deep learning uh, tutorials a very good deep learning tutorials 15 videos series of 15 videos which is covering in that one hour tutorial uh, means it will be animations fully visualization so it will be better if you do that okay so we have this all and I, 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 I hope that you really like this too. and this PDF will be in the comment box below the link of this PDF will be in comment box below I'll be very happy if you if you consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and this this will be also in my github repository okay so I'll be giving a link of my github repository in the description box below you can have a look at there but most probably I will be giving you the link of this PDF uh, this whimsical uh, mind map okay so uh, but one more thing that I want to put over here don't just only learn okay try to code I just written what topics to cover okay for learning or research in machine learning so don't just learn uh, let's take an example that after you learned linear regression now do some do one project on linear regression okay make a maybe house price predictor make a classification project so after learning each and every algorithm try to implement that algorithm into a project okay may maybe use scikit-learn library or do the kind of see the documentation of sklearn what are the hyperparameters included okay so that's the best if you follow the project based learning then nobody will can can stop you to learn master i would not say master just uh, becoming a machine learning practitioner okay or having a comfortable knowledge in machine learning or good knowledge machine learning okay so do this all each uh, just only cover these all topics to really mastering uh, this machine uh, you will be having a very good amount of knowledge in machine learning just go with these topics you can add more topics if you want by yourself also so I'll be very uh, happy to see what you come up with and uh, uh, it just takes a lot of time to make this all uh, roadmap so if you can you can consider subscribing this and liking this video and i'll be catching up your next video you can learn from the full stack machine learning course uh this playlist and i'm i'll be just i'm just there is a 10 hour course coming up onto machine learning uh, in this playlist okay i'll be putting up soon but take some 10 20 20 days again it will take so i'll be definitely putting up over here okay so thank you for seeing this video and this again roadmap will be in the description down box below i'll be catching up in the next video till then bye bye